Hello my beautiful friends, happy summer. Today I wanted to do a what's in my beach bag or what to bring to the beach video because I go to the beach a lot. I live in Florida and a lot of you guys have been asking for me to do a what's in my beach bag video. So I literally just got back from the beach a couple days ago. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make this super authentic and I'm just not gonna unpack my beach bag and I'll just film a video. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm so excited. I'm in a new location, super fun, super beachy. I've got my beach bag right here. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. This bag is actually from Shein.com. You guys know I absolutely love that website. It's this super cute little straw bag. I love the pom-poms, that's what sold me. And then it's got this white star. It is super happy and it just fits a ton Perfect for the beach. I brought it to the beach all this last weekend and it was just amazing and everyone put their stuff in here and it all fit and it's just so cute. So if I can find the link, I'll have it down below if you guys want to purchase it. But the video is mainly about what's inside the bag, kind of my beach essentials if you will. So let's get started. Oh, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe down below. I'm posting every day. Every single day I post a video. Well, almost, unless I, you know, sometimes your girl needs a break, but I haven't broken the streak yet. The first thing I have in my bag is my phone, of course, because you have to listen to music or take pictures or all that fun stuff. So I have a right iPhone 6S Plus. Next in here, we have a hat. I think a hat is essential for putting in your beach bag. Not only if you want to wear it, like obviously it's a cute look. Like sometimes I'll put my hair in like two braids and wear a hat. You're good to go. But I really like bringing little hats like this because when I'm tanning, you know when you feel like the heat on your face and like personally I don't care if my face doesn't get tan like I don't really purposely tan my face because I don't want to get burned on my face my skin's a little bit more sensitive so I literally when I'm tanning I'll just go like this and it's really calming and you can fall asleep like that it's kind of dangerous honestly but it'll get you there or I'll just like put it like this so like the sun isn't hitting my face it's just mainly my nose I don't want to get my nose burnt so I always bring a hat with me my friends do it too this one's from anthropology actually it's super cute and happy so go get you one. Next up in here we have sunglasses. I personally make sure I bring sunglasses that either I don't care about or they're okay to go in chlorine or the beach or whatever. Cause sometimes when I go to the beach, there's like a pool nearby and we'll go in the pool. Um, but I really like reflective ones or mirrored ones for the beach. I don't know why. These are from the brand Westward Leaning and they're like, I think the style is Voyager. So they're the Voyagers by Westward, Westward Leaning. They've got a few different colors. I love these. These are perfect for the beach. They're just so fun, happy, like, they won't like fall off your face easily because they're like thicker framed and like when I'm in the ocean, I'm not like super scared and I don't, they're nice sunglasses, but if I lose them, I lose them. I mean, I don't really want to lose them, but you know what I mean. Next up, we have a Polaroid camera. I've been recently getting into my Polaroid again. I have the Fujifilm Insta X Mini 8 one. This is like the one that like everyone and their mother has, um, but I'm really into Polaroids lately. I think they create great memories. Personally, I like when I'm at the beach taking a Polaroid and then taking a picture of the Polaroid on the sand or like at the beach. Like that's why I like to bring this and it's just like fun memories, you know? Next up, I always, no matter what, whenever I go to the beach, bring sea salt spray because um, when I get in the ocean, because I really like to go swimming in the ocean, especially after you're tanning for a while, it's nice to like go in the ocean, come out and dry off tan, go back in the ocean. It's kind of like my cooling off system for when I'm tanning. After I get out of the ocean, my hair is like super crazy and I want to keep it somewhat tame. So I'll spray a little bit of sea salt spray at the ends and just scrunch it so that when it does dry and maybe we're going to dinner on the beach right after that, my hair has that kind of like beachy wave look, but not like totally crazy, if you know what I mean. So this is from the brand Honest Beauty. I also really like um, Not Your Mother's sea salt spray. Either one will do. And I just like this one because it's like tiny. Like it's not huge. Like I don't want to bring like huge hair products in my beach bag. Next up, we have a book because I'm a big fan of beach reading. Sometimes I get bored when I'm tanning and I know you guys probably do too like I was with my friends this weekend and after a while we literally just got bored of tanning so it's nice to have something to entertain you so oh my beach bag just fell nice really nice I've been reading this book right now it is called how to murder your life by Kat Marnell um, it's basically kind of a memoir of her life and she just wrote about how she's like a very busy person and she's like always filling her time with things and it's just kind of like how she lives her life and it's very interesting she was involved she was like the, the co-editor of um, Lucky Magazine. She was an associate beauty editor at Lucky Magazine. Um, she's kind of about her life and it's like really bougie and fun. This is kind of weird, but I'm kind of really into beach pants right now or like, you know, like palazzo pants. So I got this pair of um, pants from Aerie, the store, it's by American Eagle. And they just kind of, um, they're a little bit looser on top and then they cinch down at the ends. But I really like this because I mean, these are like pretty sheer. So they're definitely to be worn with a bathing suit. 
I like them because sometimes like I'll be at the beach and we want to go in to like you know do some shopping around the town or we want to go in for some lunch like along the beach or get some lemonade or whatever it may be so it's kind of nice and a cute look to pop on your beach pants but still have, like your bikini top on or something that's like beach casual I think it's pretty appropriate it's like wearing a crop top and like loungewear or like these beach pants I absolutely love them I love the idea of it it looks really cute too if you're wearing a one piece and you throw this on over it it's a good look. Next, I have this little water cup here from Urban Outfitters. It says, here comes the fun. And I really like it. I think these are super great for the beach and they're so cute. And they have a little cap on it if you need. So my friends and I will just put either water and ice or we'll make like cute little mocktails and we'll put like orange juice and cranberry juice and Sprite or like lemonade, whatever you want to do. It's just super perfect for the beach and it stays nice and cold and it doesn't get the condensation on your hands, which is a plus. This is the sunscreen that I've been into lately. It is the Sun Bum SPF 30. It smells really good and it's just, I mean, it's cute. Like it's a cute sunscreen. So what more could you like? Um, but yeah, I always bring sunscreen with me, spray sunscreen because cold, that other stuff, the lotion sunscreen is so cold. Lastly, I have headphones or earbuds mainly, not headphones because that's just so extra at the beach. But earbuds are great for when, again, you're tanning or you're just sitting out enjoying the waves and watching everything to play music and just jam out to those vibes. That is it for what is in my beach bag. I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed showing you guys what was in it. It's getting me excited and I kind of like want to go to the beach right now. Maybe I will, honestly, maybe I will. I love you guys so much. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe down below. I post videos almost every day this summer, which is exciting. Comment down below the next summer related video you guys want to see and I will see you guys very soon for my next one.